Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about the command line arguments in Java. So here is our outline. First of all we will get to know what are the command line arguments and after that we will pass arguments to our program using the command window and IntelliJ. All right? So what are command line arguments? Command line arguments are data that is given to the main method. So as you know the main method looks like this and it takes some parameters right? And you already know what is a string. It is some text put inside double quotes. So I want you to think about this over here as a group of strings. And this group is called args. And it is an abbreviation for arguments. So we are able to give the main method a group of strings and we can use them. Alright? And in a little bit we will see how. And now suppose that we give the main method some arguments. So we are going to use the name of the group in order to access the arguments. And in this case, each argument will be a string. So I'm going to use the println function in order to print the first string. In order to do that, I will use the name of the group. And after that, between brackets, I will put the number zero. So what's happening over here? I'm telling Java to get the group of arguments and to give me the first string or the first argument. So the number of the first argument is zero and we can give as many arguments as we want. So suppose that we give three arguments. So I will be able to print the second one and the third one like this. The number of the second one is one and the number of the third one is two. Now I understand that this may seem a little bit confusing but everything will be clear whenever we see some examples. So let's do that. I'm on my desktop and I have this main.java file. I'm going to show you the code inside. So we have a main class and a main method. And inside it, I have the same code from the slides. I'm printing the first argument, the second argument, and the third argument. Now let's open CMD in order to compile and run our program, all right? So as you can see, this file is saved on the desktop. So first of all, I will navigate to my desktop like this. And now I have to compile the file, right? So java c and we put the name of our java file. So main.java. Now press enter. And as you can see over here, main.class is created. Now we want to run this file. So we will use java main, right? We are executing this class over here. But now we want to give this class some information or some arguments, right? Which will be passed as parameters to the main method. So leave a space and now put the first argument. So for example, let's type hello, right? And now I leave another space and over here, I will put the second argument. For example, I will put one, two, three. And these are numbers, but of course, they will be passed as a string. Because as we said, the arguments that are passed to the main method are a group of strings, okay? And now let's leave another space and over here, we will put the third argument. So let's put for example, by, all right? So what's important over here is to separate arguments using spaces as you can see, all right? Now let's press enter and see the output. So here we go. Let me move this over here and have a look. First of all, we are printing the first argument. And yes, the first argument as we said is hello. And as you can see, it is printed, right? And then we are printing the second one and the third one. And over here we can see one, two, three and buy, all right? So this is the idea. Now, I don't want you to confuse yourself. You may never use command line arguments when developing programs, but I just wanted you to get an idea in order to understand everything that is written over here, including this parameter, all right? And don't worry, you don't have to understand what's happening exactly over here. We will discuss this later on in the course. This is called an array, all right? So don't worry about it. Now, let's see how we can pass command line arguments inside IntelliJ. So over here, I have a main.java class, and this is the same code as before, okay? And I'm printing the first and the second and the third command line argument. So in order to give some data, I'm going to this tab over here, to the run tab, and over here, go to edit configuration. Now make sure that you select the main class, because we are going to run the main class, okay? And over here, as you can see, we have program arguments. So over here, we can put our arguments. So for example, let's put hello, 111, and buy, all right? So similar to what we have before. And we are passing three arguments because I'm printing the first three arguments. So now press OK over here. 
and now we want to run this class so make sure that you select the main class over here and press the run button and now if you look at the output we have our arguments printed all right now let's go back to our arguments so in the edit configuration i'm going to remove these arguments all right and then i will press ok so now i'm printing the arguments but i didn't give them to the program right so let's see what will happen run the program and as you can see we have an error this is basically saying you are trying to access some strings inside this group over here and this group is empty and this is true because we didn't supply any command line arguments right and the same thing will happen over here if we didn't give the arguments so let me show you i will run the program and for example i will only give it the first argument now if i press enter we can see the first argument printed and then we have an error and it is the same error as before we are trying to print the second argument but we didn't actually give it to the program all right so in summary we can give our main method some strings and we can use them inside it so this is it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one